All right, so this is my uh, odometer that is hooked into a stepper motor, so it can be remote controlled by my computer. So I don't know if you can see it's really dark, but there's uh, this big stepper motor here that's tied in to the, uh, the fractional miles um, gear, which is then hooked into everything else. So you spin one and they all spin. So it's just a really simple motor that goes forward or backwards and it turns the odometer. The stepper motor is just hooked in through uh, these wires into my Arduino unit and uh, the four wires that control the stepper motor are hooked into the digital pins, uh, the digital output pins of my Arduino board and then the Arduino board is plugged in through USB into my computer. Uh, and the USB acts as the source of power and the source of communication with the Arduino board and there's no external power. So USB controls does everything. Uh, and the way that uh, the computer communicates with the Arduino board is through Python and I'm using the Pi serial uh, module to uh, communicate with the, with the board. Um, and then on the Arduino side there's a program that can then read the serial and interpret values. Uh, so I have the program right here that's running the Python script that's using PySerial and it prompts the user to enter the current position of the odometer. Uh, because this is an open loop system, we don't actually know what the odometer is. We just sort of use dead reckoning to try and remember where the odometer was and then move it uh, as needed. So if we look at the odometer uh, where it stands right now, um, it is at 1515.5. So if we put that into the program, uh, I give the program that information. It actually sends that information to the Arduino board uh, so it knows where it, uh, it is and then it asks for a new position and I'm going to tell it 1500 and then when I hit enter it figures out that it needs to wind it backwards and then it puts it back to 1500. Now because I gave it an integer number it's right on the edge of 1500 and 1499. So it's actually good to give it fractional values and put it somewhere like around 5 in order for it to understand uh, where to go. Then we say we want to go to, let's pick a uh, far away number, let's go to 1623.7. And so you see it starts rotating up and it starts off kind of slow but then speeds up pretty quickly. That's just to give the gears a little bit of time to adjust to the change in speed because uh, in as much as we try and reduce friction, there still is a, a friction problem. And it is going to be there pretty soon. And there it is. So 1623 point, we can't really see it, point 0.7. So it does get a little bit off. Um, so, and, and it will drift over time. So that's kind of a, a concern with this. But uh, that's the basics of how this all works. It's fairly simple. Uh, in terms of its system, but it took a while to get it to work just right. So that's uh, sort of the gist of it, just a quick overview of uh, how I'm controlling an odometer with Python. Thanks.